I like, man, that's that's but it really didn't work. I was so tired, and then I was just kind of getting but now I flipped it around. I start the day with Bible study, and what a difference. Start with Jesus. Start right and you'll finish right. So think about how much time do you spend with Jesus? And then Jesus said this. He said, seek those things which are above and not those things which are below. We need to always seek those things which are above. Don't be distracted by social media, cell phones, TV, entertainment. Did y'all know why they call those things cell phones? Cell, you're in prison. Cell. I'm serious, think about it. You know, I, you know, whenever I go, sometimes I go downtown, John probably could tell you. What, do you see these people like this? I mean, I, I, I used to ride the bus going to work, and I'm telling you, the bus has almost hit people because they're on their phone. I'm like, it ain't that important. When you got a big ton bus coming at you, you're looking at that phone. You're just going to the office, folks. You're not going to surgery. Goodness gracious. But it's called cell phone. They're in prison. My son, he's on his phone. I took the phone. You're not going to be on this phone that much. You're supposed to call. That's what it's for. You're like, Dad, why we don't got an unlimited plan? Are you paying for it? Because I don't have unlimited money. That's simply put. No, I don't have unlimited. And he said, Dad, you cut my data off. You reached the limit. You're over. You got to give them some responsibilities. I cut them off. He said, Dad, when I can cut it back on? Next month, when it rolls over. It's pretty simple. This is the way it works. Now make adjustment. Make good choices. So the question is, are you going to be disciplined? Are you going to be distracted by good? Or are you going to be dis- disciplined to choose that which is blessed? You have to. To make the right choice. It is my prayer that you go back and read this. And look to see where you can make adjustments. Remember Martha was saved. She was doing a good job. If you read her in other places. She's she's back and got it right. But she had let bitterness and anger build in. And she got so angry. She busted in on Jesus. And asked him to correct somebody. That's what happened with anger folks. You let it build up. But it normally happens when you're focusing on somebody else's business and not yours. Focus on your own business and you'll, you'll get it right. So, there's one more scripture I'm going to give and then I'll get out your way here. Uh, 1 Peter chapter 4, verse 15. And that just goes about what I said. It says, but let none of you suffer as a murderer... Or as a thief, or as an evildoer. Those sound bad, don't they? But watch this next one here. Or as a busybody in other men's matters. You're going to suffer when you're in other people's matters. So he's telling us not to suffer as a busybody. And here's my last comment I'll make Satan simply wants to keep you busy so you don't see what he's doing. Or what God's doing. It is the biggest trick of all. He'll give you all these things to do. So much to do. I know when I started um, preaching on Wednesday, my business grew. I had so much business. He wanted to get me distracted. I'm like, no, cut that work out. God's word, I turned down work to do what God's told me to do. God's word is more important. Satan, whenever you try to do something good for God, you watch, you will be distracted. He is going to throw it at you. The money, distraction is going to be everywhere. But will you do what Mary did and be disciplined enough to make the right choice? Let's pray. Father God, it is once again that we come, Lord, just thank you for this privilege and, Lord, this opportunity. Lord God, I know this lesson, I needed it more than anyone. And you taught me, Lord God, to be disciplined like Mary and to make better choices for you. Lord God, no doubt we all can make changes in our life to spend more time with you. And we just thank you that you even covet our time together. Help us, Lord God, to do your will. And we'll be so ever grateful to give you your, your name all the honor and surely all the praise. In Christ Jesus' name we pray. Amen.